Hello 152 class. This is a homework problem from section 2.4. This is problem number 15. And we're looking at back-to-back -back stem plots. And remember back-to-back -back stem plots we have the stems going down the middle and then the leaves for each stem plot are coming off to the left for one data set to the right for the other data set. So the way that you would do this problem is you would um, Click the box like we talked about when we have a bunch of data that you're going to have to arrange. Uh, click the box, open in Excel or Stack Crunch, whichever one you have. If you have Stack Crunch, you click the open in Stack Crunch box and blow it up a little bit and tell it to sort. So data sort, sort both. And then sort ascending. So compute. All right, and then here's our new sorted data sets. Okay, so from smallest to largest. So what we would then do, and this student has done, is they sorted by stems. Uh, so this, this stems and the, the leaves over that. So notice there's one, two, three zeros, a five, three sixes, a five, three sixes. In the six stem, and then we jump to the seven. So a three, a couple of sixes, a seven, and an eight. Three, a couple of sixes, seven. So this is that data set with each digit that's uh, showing up under the women's column, a measurement in the woman's column. But this is the first digit, and this is the second digit. So 73, 76, 101, uh, 124. Okay. And then for men, same thing. Uh, five zero, all right, six seven. There's six seven. Okay, so all the data is there, and she's got all the data in there correctly. Now, question came with why was the last question not marked correctly? So, if we look at the question and the options here, um. This one, the correct answer says the distribution of pulse rates for men is concentrated center around 60, but the pulse rates for women is more spread out center around 70. And you could be definitely confused just by looking, maybe like thinking, well, that these are both like the longest or something, even though this one's a little, this one's the same length as that. Um, but centered is going to become more clear, clear to us in chapter three when we talk about measures of center. But just consider we got 20 values here. So the 10th value, uh, roughly the 10th, really it's the 10th and 11th. These are like the middle values in both of these data sets. So we got 66, uh, 66, 67, 76, 77. So really the middle values are, are really around 66 and a half, 67, uh, 76 and a half. Uh, for these, we'll, we'll talk about more of in chapter three. But the middle values are taking place in the 6 stem for the men, and they're taking place in the 7 stem for the women. So that's why we're seeing these two different places where we're centered around. And uh, we're not centered around 60 because of, because of that. Um, the center of the data set is if we have a single mode, a lot of times, if it's symmetric, what this the uh, center of the data set is that that modal class. Um, but notice the modal classes here for the women's data set is not actually where the center takes place um, because of the this being higher than this, and then this in the middle. It's kind of like all of this is kind of in bulk, averaging out to the middle middle row. Okay, this is higher. This is higher. This is almost as high. So the average of all these will fall around in the middle of this. All right, and then also the uh, the more spread out of the, the women's, we call the starting from 60 and going all the way to 124. That's a gap of 64, whereas the men starts from 50 and extends to 88. So that's only a gap of 38. So the range in our data is much higher for women than it is men. All right, a lot of that will become more clear with chapter three added in and we can do it numerically we can do it with numbers uh, rather than just staring at the distributions 
So just know that that's why the answer here is B and not C, is because if you got our data sorted, we can see that the middle numbers, you know, like halfway through our data, are taking place in two different stems, the sixes versus the sevens.